What's up you guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to put a food delivery bag on your bike. This is a Rad Power Rad Mission that I use for errands. All you're really going to need is some uh, some wire cutters and some zip ties. So let's get started. My electric scooter, my e-move cruiser, it died yesterday and I had to take it back to Voro Motors and they are uh, repairing it. The, con the controller had an issue and they're replacing it free of charge under warranty. Great customer service. But, you know, it's not like a Mercedes dealer where they give you a loaner. So I had to quickly uh, get set up to still do deliveries. All right guys, so this bag here that I'll put a link in the description on, uh, they sell it on Amazon and it comes with this rack to uh, to mount on your bike and I tried to contact them to get more of these so I could have one on my bike on my other bike on my my scooter and they said they'd only sell it to me with <laughs> another bag and I wasn't able to find one just like it so I did some research and was able to find this it comes in a two-pack which is important, I'll explain why later. Now, if you look at the size, it's only about of a, quarter of, a quarter of an inch shorter and about three quarters of an inch wider um, than this one, so it should work. It is quite a bit thinner, a lot more lightweight, but it comes in a two pack, so I'm gonna put two together and uh, throw them on the bike. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and finished zip tying these two racks together to make one strong one just as strong as that, uh, that other one we had. So if you go in all four corners and put them diagonally, um, it works out a lot better at centering the racks. And then I put one kind of in the middle, right? So now you've got a solid rack. You wanna make sure you get this thing centered on your rack. And then you definitely wanna get it back um, so that your box doesn't hit your butt when you're trying to ride. We'll go ahead and start, start these zip ties. So what I just did there, I turned these facing down. I think it just looks better. These ain't your mama's zip ties, right? These are uh, a lot more heavy duty. Uh, yeah, I wanna get it real tight. Uh, okay. Now, for the side to side, because I've, I've done this a few different ways and I've noticed that the bags will kind of slide a little bit and, until these ends hit and stop it. So you go ahead and put some around this way also. Butterfingers. Oh yeah, this is, this is super sound. Okay, now we're gonna get some cut in action. Okay, I got three different bags here, right? Because I want to show you different ways to do it. So this bag that comes with uh, that rack I showed you guys, um, right? It's so super simple to mount. And see, so this rack is the perfect size, right? Now it comes with these straps, which are awesome because they just go right on there. Just like this. And you just simply pull these down and that's it. That bag's not going in. You don't need anything else. No uh, bungee cords or anything. Here's a bag that doesn't have straps, right? This is a smaller bag that I have. It's a backpack bag. This is a really good bag. The reason I don't like it is because it's a zipper type. I mean, if you ever have a crash, I guess that'll be nice, right? So look at this bag. It doesn't have any mounter mounting points. A lot of delivery bags will have uh, loops on the bottom. And if it has the loops, you just zip tie it right to the rack. 
But if it doesn't, right, and it's like this, what do you do? You could use these straps, right, and then hook your bungee cord up under, right, and then hook on the other side of the rack, right? So this goes all the way around and hooks on the other side of the rack. You'll see it on this side, what I did. So I'll do the same thing here and come under here to this rack, right? If you need it to be tighter, you can even go to the rack you just installed. But that's the bike rack, right? And that's not going anywhere. You could also use a few more bungee cords. Now I used this, this handle because I really didn't have anything else. Now, if you had a, a solid bag and, it, and it's like solid, this one's pretty solid. But if it had Velcro, you could literally put your bungees right here, right? And then hook onto that or go a little further, right? Depending on how tight you need it. And you do it like that, right? So even if you don't have mounting points for these things, you still can uh, put them on. But if you got a bag like this, and the reason why I said it had to be Velcro is because you wanna be able to still close the bag, you know? And uh, this one, you won't be able to close it because you can't run the zippers when, you, when you're hooking on here. Now here's something interesting. The first bag I showed you guys that I gave you the link to on Amazon, they have a larger size. And my first thought was I would need a different rack. If you look here, it overlaps about an inch on both sides, but it also has these neat straps. So if you wanna have, and now this is my killer bag. I have this one and the smaller one in the car when I'm working out of the car. And, um, and then pull them. Um, now, when you buy this bag on Amazon, it doesn't come with the rack though, right? That's the sucky part, but it fits on the rack. All right, I got a couple more little tips for you. So let's say you, uh, you need to carry some extra stuff when your bag's full, right? You, you don't have space for it. So you can get you one of these nets. I'm gonna link this one too. It comes with two of these uh, bike cargo nets and it comes with this really awesome bungee cord that has carabiners on it, right? So I'll give you that link too. But anyway, so the way you do this, go ahead and hook into the shoulder strap loop right on this side do the same thing on the other and then with the rest of them go ahead and hook them on the little grid rack we just installed right underneath again both sides now you got yourself a nice little place let's say you, you don't know if it's gonna rain and <laughs> you might have to rush home in the rain, well, you can stuff a raincoat in there, right? And sometimes you end up having to use this to hold stuff in place. If you got something bigger, you can put the same thing on the back side if that's your preference. There's all kinds of things you could use this for. Um, if you've got uh, the Yogi Steve uh, drink method, right? Um, then and let's say this actually happened to me the other day. I, that huge platter I had took up so much of the bag, I didn't have anywhere for this. So I had my, my bungee cords. I just hooked them on here. Hooked it on this side. Hooked it right there on the rack. And it was empty. But let's say you get a big order and drinks. Well, this is how you can still transport your drinks, right? Um, I would imagine you could use this cool uh, carabiner bungee cord too that I just got. I got short arms, guys, right? And you come all the way around and yeah, there you go. You got the carabiner bungee cord that I gave, um, gave you guys the link to. The key is to have options when you're out there because you don't know what's gonna happen. I guess you could even use this wouldn't be my first choice, but it would certainly work in a pinch that worked just fine too, right? And it definitely is going nowhere again. And the pressure is a little more evenly distributed too. Oh, there I go again, spilling all the drinks. So this is also why you have to practice using your gear uh, 
before you go out and do deliveries. All right, and, and that'll do it, right? This is uh, my new setup. Um, a lot of research went into it. Uh, if you guys found this useful, please go ahead and give me a subscribe. I got more coming. I do a lot of uh, PV stuff, uh, a lot of DIY stuff. See you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Hey, be a man.